Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. In our today's tutorial, we'll be learning about the fifth chapter of NIOS Data Entry Operations Secondary and Senior Secondary, Grade 10 and Grade 12, Code Number 229 and 336 for Mail Merge Chapter 5. So, in this Mail Merge, you will be seeing how, what is a Mail Merge basically and you will also be learning some important points which is required in the definition and as per the examination questions. Same time, I would also like to tell you that there is another video in the description box for this particular this video where you will find the way of performing a mail merge for the practical examination as the practical examination contains 10 marks for doing mail merge. So you should know how to create the mail merging, how to perform a mail merging. So basically, if there are a few things which I'm not showing you right now in this lesson particularly, that as a practical base, then you can actually take the link of that one which is already uploaded way back just for you to learn how to perform the practical exam in terms of mail merging right now i'm just focusing on the theoretical part that what is the theory and what all you have to three things only important to study nothing more in this lesson it's a very short chapter interesting chapter so just pay attention and let's see how do we move basically the mail merge consists of three types of documents how many three the first document is called as main document. The second document is called as data source. And the third one is called the merge document. So what is the main document? A main document is a document in which your letter is written. Simple. A, mail, a main document is a document in which your letter is written. It is a document which that contains your text. It is a document that contains your text. Or in other words, you can also say a main document is a document which contains our letter, which contains the text, or it is the document which needs to be merged for mailing. It is a document which needs to be merged for the mailing. So three things you can also say it for this main document. So it's your wish, say it, one mark only in the exam, not more. What is a data source? A data source is a file that contains the names and addresses and other related information for the particular person to whom you want to send the mail. So basically it is the information of the person who's in, whose contact is present in that, in which includes name, address, pin code, city, Designation, company, telephone number, mail ID, everything. It's just like a mix, a complete data of a particular person. That is what is called as data source. So it is not just for one person. It, since it's a file, it contains about all the people to whom you are usually in contact with. So that particular person's complete information is present inside a data source. So you know what's the main document? It's your letter or it's a document which contains the text or it's a document which needs to be sent by mail. A data source is a person to whom it contains the information to whom you want to send the information. Finally, is the merge document. The merge document is a document which is created when the data source and the main documents are joined together. Basically, when you say, when you have done with your first step of preparing your letter, then you have taken, made the second step of preparing your data source. Now, when you join the data source with your merge doc, with your doc, main document, when you will join the data source with your main document, a third document appears. This third document is called as merge document. Clear? So that, that merge document is now ready to be sent via internet connection to by mail to the particular person you had chosen by data source. Clear? These are the three important things that you need to know over here as a definition. Nothing else. Now, only one more important thing that you should know is how to create a data source. The process of create the process of doing a mail merge is present inside the mail mail merging uh, practical. So I will not explain to you anything from here. It's very clearly mentioned, and the steps are clearly mentioned over there. Learn everything from the practical bit. But from here, just pay attention to how to create a data source. That recreating a data source also, I showed you how to create a mail merge over there. That side also. So it's very simple. Just remember a few important questions. That is in this lesson. Remember only the in-text questions that you have to go through and the terminal questions. So basically a data source looks as such, roll number, name, address one, address two, city, state, pin code, whatever it is, fine. And that is the way we can do it. Now, how do we create a data source? A data source can be created using an Excel file and save it as data source. Or you can also create tables in Microsoft Word file and prepare that as a data source. You can also use the help of data, our mail merge wizard to create the mail merge wizards inbuilt template for making a data source. So three ways of creating data source, Excel file, Microsoft Word key and you can just make a table and put a data file or uh, this uh, files over there or the third one that you can do is use the mail merge wizard which is a help that helps you to how to make a day mail merging and same time using its inbuilt template to prepare a data source. So these are the three things only you have to know what is the main main document, what is the merge document and what is the data source, the process of making the table for the data source, the practical of how to do a data source for the main examination and the practical how to do a mail merge is clearly explained in the video which is present in the description box. 
please go through it and check it and make sure things are more easy for you. And finally, just go through all the in-test questions and terminal questions related from here because the same repetition of questions and internal questions comes in test question and terminal questions come for the examination, which is present in this book. Both senior secondary and secondary, nothing extra for you people in this case is exactly the same. Practical exam, you're going to have both practical for the male merging also. Each one consists of 10, 10 marks. So make sure you do this thing. Any question that you have, please ask me uh, through Facebook, Instagram. Also, you can comment on YouTube. Any other videos you require me to make it, please let me know about this. Thank you.